While COVID-19 cases continue to wane across our region, Pike County Health Director Tammy Riley gives us an update on current cases and what we can expect from the subvariant BA2. Currently we have 18,645 total cases that have been reported to public health. You know, out of those 18,645, you know, we, we have 114 active, so that's a much lower number of active cases than we had, say, a month, two months ago. And what that means is we're having fewer cases come in uh, than we are that we're able to release. So we're seeing the active number go down. Um, unfortunately, the deceased number has gone up slightly and we're now at 268 total confirmed um, deaths in Pike County. Uh, but definitely we're seeing you know, a slower number of new cases being reported per day. With 11.1 cases per 100,000, Pike County remains in the red zone, placing a health care burden. Riley says she expects those numbers to improve. The CDC came out with some new recommendations where you look at multiple data points and the emphasis is more on the burden to the health care systems. So it's the number of new admissions uh, for hospitalization, the percentage of staffed beds that are occupied in your hospitals in your county, and then also a number of cases coming in in a seven day period. So there's multiple data points and when you look at those data points uh, that the CDC has recommended that we review, that still puts uh, Pike County in the red or the, the high level of um, cases and burden um, on the county. So, you know, based on CDC guidance, we're still in the red zone. Um, I am expecting that to improve, uh, if not this week, next week. But those, uh, those data points are updated weekly versus daily. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Again, while cases of COVID-19 continue to wane locally, the BA2 subvariant of Omicron is creating an uptick in cases overseas. And what we're seeing is about a third of the cases in the United States are now um, contributed to BA2. Uh, but we're definitely Europe and it looks like potentially the Western Pacific countries as well um, are, they're definitely showing an uptick in cases, um, likely um, due to this variant. Um, so, you know, it's certainly something that we expect to see. Uh, now, how virulent that virus will be, the disease burden that that, that variant will cause, you know, we just don't know yet. Lastly, Riley says those who have vaccinated for COVID-19 but have not received a booster should consider it as waning antibodies can place a vaccinated individual at risk. Most individuals are recommended to receive a booster as soon as five months after they have completed the primary series. To get boosted or vaccinated, you can call 606-437-5500. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordell.